April. This is our Wednesday file, and we are making a graduation card. So this is a gatefold card, but this can be cut on your Cricut Joy, except maybe the belly band pieces. You may have to do those on um, a different, or cut it on your trimmer is what I'm trying to say. But if you're on the Maker or Explore, you should be fine. Now, this piece right here, I'm going to add a score line to it. I did not do that on the file before I cut mine, but I will fix the file for you guys. Uh, just simply so that it has a double score on it, just to give some relief on the way that folds in. It needs to kind of roll just a little bit more, I feel. Um, I've seen several of these online, and I wasn't happy with the way it was closing. So, there we go. That's better. So, I will, I will add another small score line on there, or you can use your double score wheel. That should help as well. So, you're just going to fold in, and then you're going to fold this flap as well. I'm just going to fold it both ways. Um, and it's got that big score on it, so it will, because they're going to be butted almost right up against each other. And then you have one of these, and I left it, I had it face down, so my mark for the center is on the wrong side for me, because I put my texture side down on the mat, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. Um... Let's start with this piece, and it's going to go right in the center. And I am testing this file as I make the video, guys, so any adjustments I will make for you guys before I release it. So if you see me redo something, check yours before you do it, because I probably corrected it. So we've got that piece in, and then you're going to flip it over, and you're going to take these two corner pieces and you can rotate this to where it kind of creates a square on your mat when you go to cut it. That way it won't be cutting like this, but I've got it laid out in the file the way they go. And it goes right up on the edge to edge on this side and this side. And then we're gonna do this one as well. Make sure I get my texture out. I'm going to bring this one in right here. Okay. Then you've got two pieces like this. And do I have them going the right way? That's the question. There we go. One is going to go there. And the other. I didn't have any embroidery thread the color that I needed so I am I made a tassel for this but it would be really cute with an actual tassel and you can use ribbon here a lot of people that are doing this card are using ribbon but I had some gold paper this is a gold craft paper that you see me use before um, from Michaels and we're just gonna Place that and bring it right up against and right to the edge of the card. And I got my glue eraser here. You can get these at Michaels, Amazon, everywhere. It's just an adhesive eraser. Mine needs to be cleaned off. I clean mine by just trimming it with scissors. So then you should have something looking like this. And next, we're going to go with our belly band. And I am going to, and you can do this in whatever school colors that they have going. I'm just going to glue this right down onto that and kind of center it up. The best of my ability there. Didn't get it quite, there we go. There we go. 
any squishy glue. So we're just gonna set that to the side to dry and I'm going to layer up this piece. And I used a white gel pen um, because my machine is not in warranty. I use an adapter for that. Oops. Um, but you can use your silver pen. Works just as well. Get that glue up before I get it on something. All right. So now I have that piece. And I don't know how this tassel is going to work out, guys, but we're going to try it. I may opt to do something else. So you have two pieces like this. And I am going to close my card. And I am going to, you can do a little bit of the white showing if you want. Um, I think that I am. I like it better that way. Or you can bring it right in. It is cut to come all the way in. I think I will bring it all the way in. I do like that better. So once I've got it brought in just like that, I want to make sure that I have that flap folded. I cut two. I don't know that I'm going to need to. I want to just double check the way that that's going to open. Yeah. Okay. And I got that corner just a little bit high, so I'm just going to snip it off with my scissors or my true control knife. Let's use my true control knife. It's just a little bitty sliver, and then I'm going to place my some glue back there where I missed that corner. That's why it's important to make sure you get glue all the way to the edge, guys. When you're doing things like this, boxes, you don't want it folding up on you. And I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. Do I want to do it that way, where it tilts back, and then cover it? I think that I do. So, fold this over, and I'm gonna put glue on this tab here. And then I'm going to bring in this piece. And we're gonna line it up right there, dead center. And we're gonna press that down. And then I will go ahead and cut this in the file for you. I'm just going to cut this on the diagonal with my Cricut trimmer. And all I'm going to do is place each corner in there and cut that square right in half. I will cut that in the file for you guys. And I'm just using this to hide that flap and give it a more finished look. Hopefully it won't interfere with the way it opens and closes. I'm just gonna double check. Oh, that will be fine. Okay, so I am going to Get my texture to the outside to give that a finished look. And then we're just gonna bring that in and get it even in the point and on the sides. And that's not even. Kind of glue seized up on me before I could move it. There we go. Perfect. And if you cut yours the right way, you'll have a circle right there to tell you where the center is, but we'll make it without it. And let's get our belly band. I have a hair there. My hair seems to be falling out. Um, I'm going to bring this in because I want 
and I'm going to fold this. Now, I could score this all day long, guys, but it depends on the cardstock you use if it will come out even. So I'm just going to fold that over, and then we're just going to glue that. And you don't want it tight, tight. You want to be able to be able to slide that on and off. So make sure you've got a little bit of play in there. And I'm going to put glue on this end, on the inside, and on this end, on the outside. Okay? And then I'm just going to fold them over and keep them even. I'm just going to hold it till it sets. And that way it puts glue on both ends so that it will hold. And it shouldn't interfere that way. Just going to give that a second to grab. I'm just going to fold that over. Yeah, maybe I didn't give myself enough play. There we go. Yeah, I did. I just wasn't lining it up. You want to make sure that those edges of that are glued down very well or it won't slide on and off. Might be better to go from the top anyway. So we're going to bring that up. And I am going to place my congratulations right there on the top. That paper curl that I cut off. And I'm just going to do some glue right down that center. And you can pop dot this up if you want. And I'm doing this part before I do my tassel because I don't know if this piece is going to work. It's supposed to come off the side right there. And then these little buttons to pop it up to look like a hat or mortarboard. Okay, perfect for those. I think I'm gonna go with it. It may or may not work out. I can put the tassel on that if I go and get the right color thread. And I can add it to it. I'm just gluing my two blue circles together. Yours are going to be whatever color you choose to cut yours out of. And then I'm going to place... This piece, and you don't want to get glue on that end, just on these pieces. And we're going to lay that down just so it comes right off the edge. I'm using art glitter glue, so that's going to dry matte and clear. I'm not going to worry about a little glue squishing out. I'm just going to put a dot right on top of that and then place this piece right over it so that it has a little dimension. How stinking cute is this? Okay, so I did put this blue and this gold piece in here, and I'm not sure how I want to do them, um, but I'm going to take my scissors. I don't even know that this will work. I don't know if I just want to leave it and sandwich it. I think I am. You could fringe it with your scissors if you wanted to. I think I'm just going to stack it like this. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to cut mine. I'm just going to leave it like it is. And because that's craft board on the back, that's why I did another color. So I just want to cover it so that when it opens up that you're not seeing craft board color. Okay. And just gonna put some glue on that little tippy tip right there, and we're gonna press that right on. And I might, I'm even gonna angle mine in slightly, that way it won't interfere with the envelope. Eh, I can make a bigger envelope. I like it straight. How cute. Super easy, simple card, but quick. And you're going to slide that off, and then they have their little grad. How cute is that? 
if you want, I didn't think about it. I forgot to cut a piece for that tassel. I'm just gonna color that with a blue marker so that it blends in. But if you wanna cut a second one, if your paper is craft on the other side, cut a second one and layer it up just, just like I did that other piece, okay? Super easy, super simple. Hope you guys enjoy this file. Let me know if you have any questions or need any help, and I will catch you on the next video.